The important thing is to stay well hydrated. Especially when you have gotten semi lost on the Sky Train, taken a boat, and then you get to the Golden Palace. No, wait, it's the Grand Palace. And find out it's closed for ceremonial purposes. How dare they observe their religious ceremonies when I'm in town? Um, I'm kidding. But they're going to open again at 1. So I'm going to sit in the shade and then go see the Emerald Buddha. Two, two historical landmarks for the price of one, 400 baht. It's still $12. I think Thai people are free for 10 baht. So before you get to the holy place, there's all of these people here trying to get as much money as they can out of your purse. Unidentified meat. This looks promising. Coconut fruit. Decently priced water for five baht. And then we continue to the holy place. Watch out for motorcycles. You're telling me Oh yes, I will put my longer pants on. My calves are actually showing, so I will cover them up. Here we are at the Grand Palace, and I can't have any skin showing. They have told me to cover my calves. <laughs> I'll put on jeans. Oh my god, I came a little bit late. So I'm in the throngs of heat and people. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. There is a holy feeling here. Is my finger over the microphone? No. I'm in. Pretty spectacular. And we've got that over there. Looks like it's been freshly painted. I love all the wind chimes. Oh my gosh, just keeps going. Spectacular. A little overwhelming in the 100 degree heat and I, I've only seen very little of it but that's okay. I need about 12 quarts of water right now. I don't know where you can find that but I will. Very interesting to watch the people. 
But it's been a highlight of my trip to Bangkok. Even though it's hot, hot, hot.